So if you're using the SPD-SX Pro for live performances, it's important that you get your mix dialed in using the app on the computer. So my dad is going to show you how he dials in his mix before he takes it to live performances. Dad, take it away. If you want to control the SPD-SX Pro with the computer, you have to hook up this uh, USB cable right here into this back port. You've got a layout here of, uh, as you can see, these pads. These are like tracks but there's two layers in each track there's a and b so there's two stereo layers in each one of these pads so one through nine is basically what we're using you have a potential of 18 stereo tracks that you can put in and manipulate mix send to various outputs right now we've got the click on uh pad one a We've got a guide which kind of has a count in so people know when to start. Let's just let's see what that sounds like in the box, okay? One, two, one, two, three, four. Well, that all sounds really good right there. First, two, three. So what I kind of heard there is that my guide, once the music got going, the click was nice and loud, but the guide's not loud enough. So uh, I'm going to go down and I'm going to click this pad and I'm going to go down and see it says guide back down here. So whatever you have highlighted up here, the controls down at the bottom on this app is there's the volume for that guide that's sending out um, on the click track. So I'm going to turn it up all the way. I had it down a little bit. So I just turned that up to zero dB, which made that one track louder on the output. So I have both the click and guide all mapped out here on these outputs. I've got the click and uh, they're on direct one. So you see here, this is pad one and they're going out on direct one. They're not going out on the stereo. I have the stereo. This is the master here, a stereo. And I have it turned off there. So it's that one track, which is this pad. Both of these layers are going to direct one out. And uh, remember earlier, I showed you that we plug direct one out into channel 13 of the mixer. And that's our click. And it's labeled on the on the wire that I made, the little XLR uh, patch cables that I made. They're all labeled. All right. So let's hear that. One, two, one, two, three, four. First, two, three. All right. Uh, I think that's good. Now, uh, I for for just. Uh, training purposes I included the voice in that I hadn't turned on so I'm going to go to pad 9 and see how it says on layer B there the voice is uh, the lead vocal comes in let's let's turn that up and let's see how that sounds I'm I'm going to go I'm at pad 9 so let's go back to the, the mixer here I was on the output section routing now I'm going to go back to the the wave and the play type section of the mixer and there's the lead vocal and it's pretty high up 1.5 decibels in the mix I'm not sure how loud it's going let's check that for a second all right one Two, three, four. First, two, three. Stone cold heart, long black. Turn it up just a little bit. Been hurt before. Wish I could change. Seems like the drums could be a little louder. I'm gonna go hear the drums. Background would be a little bit louder. Backgrounds here. Backgrounds are panned a little to the right, so I'm uh, moving them to the left. Actually, moving them to the center. So just keep in mind that this lead vocal it would not be playing in a live situation. I, you know, you would turn it off. Also, I have a solo in here that I could turn on and off and could route that to its own output if I wanted to 
to have a solo I would just plug that into the mixer if not that way I would leave this on but right now I have it off because I'm I use this this is a, a song by uh, Matt Barry if I can only and I play guitar in his band so I do the solos but if I wanted to just use that you know it's always good to have these as reference when you're mixing inside this box that way you can turn them on and then turn them off but you have reference to everything so uh basically that's how i mix hey thanks for watching so that's how we connect the x air mixer to the spd sx pro and if you want to know how we connect the spd sx pro to the p16 mixer so you can actually hear what's going on in that mix then watch this video